Here at Concrete Cowboy, part of the Tony P Networking Events, it is Yummy Network Live, the podcast. It is Dane Neal and Beth Peterson, and we have had some great guests, Beth. You know that. Uh, great, uh, great products, great spirits, and now we have six generations here with Egan's. We've got Allison Egan here with us. I am so excited to have Allison here. We have had some great conversations earlier. She's been filling me in all about the brand and the story about how her and her husband met and how they brought this brand kind of back to life. I'm so excited. And um, by the way, if we seem a little tipsy, it's because we already got started. This is my bottle. These, these you, bottles did are, so, you did so much better than me, Allison. These, Th these bottles started out a lot fuller, but I think it's a testament that people are loving the product. Allison, welcome to Yummy Network. Thank you so much, Dane and Beth, for having me here tonight. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about you again. We're so happy to have you. I mean, the story is so great about this brand. Will you tell us a little bit about, like, how, first of all, how the brand got started way, 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 way back, and then how it has come to be in just the last few years. Perfect, absolutely. Well, basically, I, as a young girl, I grew up in the town of Ireland in Tullamore, called Tullamore. It's a tiny town, only 14,000 people. Um, I grew up surrounded by the Egan name on the, all the facades of the buildings. There's preservation orders on all the buildings. So um, I used to wait under the PH Egan malting sign uh, for my bus stop, my bus every day from school. I drank in a local bar that used to be owned by the Egan family. And I was like, who the hell are these Egans? I never met them. And then I like learned about them in my history class at school and how they were like famous merchants back in the town from 1852 to 1968. And they basically had, they were like the beating heart of the Midlands. They were the biggest bonders and bottlers of Irish whiskey. And they were brewers and they had their own ale. Um, so yeah, I grew up surrounded by the brand. The writing was on the wall, so to speak, because it was very serendipitous how I met my husband. Fast forward 15 years and I'm on the deck of an aircraft carrier off the coast of China, just a standard Saturday night. Um, and I had been living there studying Mandarin and then I had never met an Egan before. And then Jonathan Egan taps me on the shoulder, six generations of Egan's Irish whiskey, of Egan's of Tullamore. And not only could we not believe that each other were Irish in China, we were also from the same hometown. So it was kind of like a serendipitous moment in our lives and we decided to like revive and relaunch and resurrect this family business, um, which was liquidated, as I said, in 1968. And here we are today to tell our story. And yeah, so far the Americans are loving our whiskey. Um, I would be really upset if you could, guys did not relaunch this whiskey. I mean, that story is beautiful. I mean, I okay, so I read the story, but having heard you tell it, I like literally was welling up. It's beautiful. It's really a really cool story. I'm so excited for you guys. So, how long ago did you launch the brand? Um, we launched it just over like two and a half years ago at Chicago Gourmet. And, and while we're talking, I'd love to get you started to try a little bit. Yes, please. The story. And we, we launched it two and a half years ago and we brought it to Chicago and we're now in 14 states. We have over 130 accounts here in the city of Chicago, which is now our home. We decided to move over to Chicago and push the brand. And so we're living and breathing Egan's. My job every day is to like walk the streets and bang on doors and sell our product. I sometimes sell it from the stroller, from Harry's stroller, my son. I sell it out of my purse and we're here tonight. That's for right, because it's not just two Egan's selling the whiskey. We also have a third little baby Egan, right? Exactly. His name is Harry. He was born February 2016. He's a year and a half old. And actually his name is Henry Patrick Egan. P and H Egan were the founders of this whiskey, Patrick and Henry Egan. So his name is Henry Patrick, but we nickname him Harry. Dirty Harry. So, so great. Do, do, did you want some whiskey, Dane? Well, yes. The answer is yes. I mean, for research and, uh, and for journalistic purposes, you want to do that. I want to, before we take this one sip, I wanted to ask a question. It was, you know, of course, here in Chicago, that's great. 14 states. What is like the future? We know the past, that great history. But where do you see Egan's going in the next couple of years? Um, I hopefully we get into every state at least, and in Canada, North America. And North America in general and all over Europe. We don't want to be in every single bar, but we want to be available for the people who love vegans to be able to try it whenever they want. All right, let's try it, guys. I'd love you to talk through the taste. Super smooth, super good. You guys obviously know what you're doing over uh, over these many years. People are going to be excited to have this. That's got to be a 
uh, a blast for you guys to be able to bring this to market. Oh wait, I don't. We said cheers, but what were we supposed to say when we're drinking Egan's? You're supposed to say slancha to an Irish family. Slancha. What? Okay. And then Allison, before we let you go, for all those Yummy Network viewers and listeners that want to get out there and get themselves some Egan's, what's the website where they can keep up on all the expressions and go to the store and get some? You can go to egansirishwhiskey.com and we're read readily available in all the binnies in Chicago and a lot of good accounts like across the road in Frank Franklin Room, Chicago Cut, Ocean Cut, Gibson's, a lot of nice places. All right, but I need to say before we end this, you know, some you feel the passion from everybody that, that talks to us about their, their brands, but I have to tell you, Allison, this is such a beautiful story and I can just feel the passion you have for the history of this brand and what it's going to do for the history of your family. It's just a really beautiful story and I just appreciate you being with us tonight. And, 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 and this whiskey is delicious. It's, it's a bottle of history, it's a bottle of love, it is. right? It's love and history. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. I'm really glad. Love it. It's fantastic. Eight-year-old vintage grain. It's a new product just on the market. It's just landed in Illinois and it's an eight-year-old vintage grain, so it's a different one, but it's better for mixing with cocktails, so maybe we can try that a little bit later on. Oh, okay. Don't twist our arm. We'll be able to do that. Um, we, we, we didn't do any on ice, and you know what? I didn't even need it. It's just so smooth and so delicious. I love it. It's got this it. lovely long aftertaste. It to keep does. That's it, what's it, going on there's right no now. no burn whatsoever. Oh, wow, it's so nice. So nice. Thank well, you so thank much. you for sharing with us. We really loved having you. Great products, great spirits. Great personalities and absolutely no burn, which is what you're looking for right here. Yummy Network Podcast live from Concrete Cowboy. We're going to have another beverage while we get ready for our next great guest. So stay tuned.